small comparison of uh, the performance between the NAV 2013 and the NAV 2009 R2 version. That's what's going to be done here. Two uh, virtual machines here, uh, a 2013 version, four gig of RAM, four processors, another one uh, with 2009 R2, four gig of RAM, uh, four processors in here. So similar environments. If we, we first go run it in the 2009 environment in here, I just restart the server in here. That's the NAV server because that means a compiling of object is going to happen as the user actually log in. Very small application has been done in here. It's basically one here where it's a create sales order. And it will loop through this uh, report uh, 100 times and basically go create a sales order for one customer, add one single sales line to it, release the sales order, ship the sales order, and invoice the sales order. And that's basically it. Uh, so a very, very simple process. Um, if I go to run it first here in the Rotel client for 2009 R2, I'll launch the Rotel client in here and I have this post 100 and I'll actually time it at the same time with a um, stopwatch here. So I start my report here and the first thing that will happen is that it actually compiles all the objects because it's going to take a, a while to actually do that. And that's a one-time process, so it's really not anything that anybody will see except when the service tier has been restarted as I just did it in here. And uh, it finished this process in uh, around uh, 28 uh, seconds in here and the stopwatch saying a uh, similar time in here. So let's go put that in. That's uh, the first time with 2009 RTC was uh, 26. Point five. 26.5. If I go rerun the process again, post 100 more in here. I'll click the OK and start the process and it now actually goes through and show the progress bar. The progress bar after 10 seconds stops appearing in uh, 2009. So uh, that's why it's not doing anything in here. But we will see the message when it comes up. And it was uh, seven or 16.8 seconds in here and that's pretty much matches the stopwatch also in here. So let's put that in here. 16.8 second was the second run. Let's try to do the same in the classic client up here. So we we'll go back in here and say, okay, let's go run it in the classic client and to ensure we have a uh, same state as open in here, I'll go uh, close this one. The only thing that has been changed in here is the object has have been high enough. So you should not have any need for reading objects in here. So, but let's go in, run the create sales order process in here. And this one is against the SQL database right now. So uh, I'll go in and run that report and I will just click OK and it now starts posting orders pretty fast because uh, acquiring objects from the database don't need anything else than just reading them. So the first uh, run through here was 22.4 uh, seconds in the classic client. So faster than the first run through for sure in the Rotel client. But let's go back and redo the same report again here in the classic client again. So just run this one. And there's really no delay in the classic line. It reads the objects, but else it's pure processing time and data retrieval in here. So um, this one will 
finish in almost the same time as it did before uh, posting these orders. is 21.1 uh, second now, so a little faster uh, than the first time. The difference here between the Rotard and the Classic client is that there is a cache of uh, data inside the service tier and it reuses some records instead of reading them again and that means it actually do less reading against the SQL database but as you can see it actually ends up performing faster. Let's compare that one to the 2009 version in here, or 2013 in here. And again, I'm going to restart my service here. So I'm sure I'm starting uh, at the same stage in here. And I have imported the objects already in here in the, my development environment. So I'm going to launch my Rotor client. and I have my 100 orders in here and I will go click start on that one and at the same time start my stopwatch here. Still need to compile the objects so it goes through that process as it uh, do in the Rotor client in 2009 also. And it now starts uh, posting the orders here. Now it's done compiling all the c -sharp code and now it's actually posting orders. The progress bar is working much nicer in here. There's really not, not that much delay in here compared to uh, what it was before. Or oh, it didn't did disappear after 10 seconds or so. So the first one, the time measured for some reason is 13.6 seconds but the real time was actually 44.9 seconds in here. So if I go in here and say the first one was 44.9, uh, but it was 30.6 for some reason measured inside the client. So let's go redo it again. Post 100 orders and start. And now there's of course there's no delay for uh, it starts posting the orders in here. This one said it took 7.8 seconds, but in real life it actually took uh, 22 seconds in here. So um, 7.8, uh, but the actual time was 22.1 uh, in here. So it looks like the RTC actually is a little slower here in uh, 2013 beta in here, but for some reason the time variable is uh, affected uh, by the processing in here. Let's just try the native database and, and this one is a system that runs uh, on a solid state drive. It's still running in a virtual environment uh, but I have the same function here about creating 100 sales orders. And I will run that one. Before I do that one I want to show that I'm actually put in uh, object cache and uh, DBMS cache that also is uh, same object cache as the SQL version, but a DBMS cache that is pretty big here. So, uh, but I'll go here and uh, run this one, and I'll click OK down here. Oops, I better get select the company, I guess, for, for that. So I'll run this one again. And my first run through was uh, 12 seconds in here. So if I put that back in my spreadsheet and then go uh, try a second run and see if uh, it will actually change the time in here. So uh, click OK here. And the classic line really don't have any issues reading the objects. So I expect to have the very, very similar time in here. It was 11.6 uh, for the second run uh, through in here. So uh, there is some issues with the time in here, 
uh, and it also looks like the Rotel client in 2013 beta actually performs a little slower uh, than it did in the old environment. But this one is a very, very specific test. It measures the pure performance almost of the client because the SQL database is uh, on the same computer. There's no network involved and anything like that one. But the classic client is uh, a fair amount faster actually uh, than any of the other clients in the system or the native database. The classic client is still a lot faster. Again, small databases on a very, very controlled environment in here.